Hello again, Munir Ajam, Sukad, Applied Project Management channel on YouTube, and video number three in relationship is a question of project manager. In this video, I will talk about linking the role of a project manager in a way to some certification that exists in the market. And the reason I want to link this, actually, uh, I want to do it from the perspective of seniority. If we look at common project management certification today, let me start with Prince2. Prince2 have a certification that called Prince2 Foundation, which is really basically uh, just some basic knowledge, foundational knowledge, with no relationship to the experience of the person who will be studying and pursuing it. Then they have the practitioner. Obviously, the practitioner will probably have some experience, somebody who will take it. But again, it doesn't require anyone else. If we look, go, go to PMI, uh, sorry, it doesn't require any experience in project management. And it doesn't say that, look, if you are Prince2 Foundation, that means you can manage X type of project. And if you are a Prince2 practitioner, you can manage, manage X or Y type of project. Uh, just generic. You have, the, you have certification, which mean, which mean you probably could be with zero experience and have both certification or you could have 10 years experience and have uh, those certification. So how do we distinguish between the two? Having the certification by itself, it doesn't mean anything in here we need to refer back to a CV. And I'm talking here about assessing maybe the competence or the level of experience by project manager and what type of project or level of complexity of project, how big or small they could manage. If you go to PMI, uh, PMI have something like the CAPM certification, which is basic foundation knowledge, which is a high school student can take with no experience whatsoever. Uh, then you have the PMP with three years experience. Now, if you are a PMP, and that's usually some of the big debate in the community today, if you are a PMP, are you, does it mean that you are an expert project manager? No. Does it even mean you are a project manager? Actually, no. Because the, the PMP is a project management professional certification. That means the person who can take it and hold it probably have never managed a project in their life or they probably manage mega projects. The certification by itself it doesn't tell me anything about the capability of the person and what type of project they can manage. Interesting enough, here we have IPMA, which is not very common and not as known, especially in, uh, in some region or countries around the world. IPMA have four certifications, but the interesting things about it, it's levels. So you have level D, which is the lowest level, level B, uh, C, B, and A. Now, what does these levels mean? Obviously, if you are level D, which is the lowest level, it doesn't require any experience, just some foundational knowledge, which means if you are an IPMA level D, you have been supposedly verified by the IPMA organization that you are or you could work on a project as a team member. That means you don't have enough experience to manage project. If you are IPMA level C, which is, some people say it's equivalent to the PMP, in my opinion, is higher. And IPMA level C means that the organization that grants you this, IPMA or one of their organization, that means you are certified as a project manager that is capable of managing small project or low complexity project or working under a senior project manager on bigger project. So that's here we have a situation where the certification is started to be linked to the level of the type of the project that a person can manage. And then we have level B. And level B typically says, you are a person that have been certified by, uh, by assessors from the IPMA organization that you are capable of managing a complex or large project. So technically, you are more like a senior project manager if you want to use this title, project manager. And see. So we have D would be a team member, uh, C would be like a project manager, uh, B would be a senior project manager. Then they have A, which means you are qualified to manage like large and complex project, or you would be more of a project director. Now, why do I talk about certification? 
Because when we talk about project management, the role of the project manager, I don't know if you can see this, could be a spectrum. On one side, when we hear the title project manager and people ask, what is the role of the project manager? And we say, it depends. Well, this is one of the things that it depends on. In some situations, the project manager could be nothing more than a clerk. And, not, and again, I, this is not meant to be an insult to a clerk. That means someone with basic clerical work, secretarial work, you know, expediting things, uh, doing basic work under close supervision by someone more senior. So in some organization, we have seen the role of project manager assigned to a fresh graduate uh, that basically doing tasks. This is one extreme. And the other extreme, you could have the project manager title giving to someone that would be managing maybe a $5 billion mega project. Now, usually in those situations, we might call them program directors or project director. We don't use the title project manager, but most likely, I mean, we could have situation where that person is a project manager. So we have somewhere here from <clears throat> a clerk or a technical person or an accidental project manager to a, someone who would be more of an executive level managing billions of dollars and anywhere in between. So what we have here, we have situation that you could be managing small basic project and organization. You could be managing large and complex project. You could be managing project with one person or five people, or you could be managing a project with thousands of people. What would be your role in here? Obviously, they don't have a, we don't have a magical formula. What we have and what we can say is that obviously on the smaller side, when you are, you are more close to being, doing the basic or micro project, as I call them, you are doing basic project with probably just a couple of people that are working with you. So it doesn't require a huge level of project management knowledge and experience and competence. You are probably more doing task management, whereas if you are going to start the project get bigger, then uh, you're not, uh, you become more of a project manager where you are managing the project through people. You start to have teams. You could have team of one or two or five I'm talking about the project management team with the different specialties that could have. So in, in a way, you can even divide the project into parts. So usually like on capital project, we might have a project manager or senior project manager or project director. And uh, working with that person, you will have an engineering manager who technically is a project manager managing the engineering part of the project. You could have a project services manager. You could have project uh, procurement manager, you can have quality manager, you can have safety manager, a construction manager, a uh, cost and schedule project control manager. So you could have on a project like this 50 people on the project management team and uh, you could have five technically project manager working, each one of them working on a part of the project. They're not managing the whole project, they're managing a phase or a function and you'll have the project director above them. So in that case, of course, the project director is not involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, with the work on the project, meaning going down to the working level people is usually working through this project management, project management team. And each one of those managers might have different people working with them. So it can be quite complex. It could be quite complex. And there is, uh, so what we have, whatever you hear, the title project manager, just always check what the qualification of that person and what that person is capable of doing. Just having a title project manager, even you have certification like the PMP or Prince2 Professionals or uh, even PGMP, uh, that doesn't mean to me at least that you would be qualified to manage a complex project. Uh, in other words, in order to assess the competence and qualification here is where I like the IPMA more than the PMI because IPMA is more of assessment of competence of the person. GAPS, the Global Alliance for Project Performance Standard, their standard also based on competence of the person rather than knowledge. Uh, uh, exam, multiple choice exam. Again, this is not meant to be a critique of one versus the other. I'm just trying to identify if we need to talk about project manager and the capability of the project manager and the competence of the project manager and the level of complexity of projects they can manage, we need to really do more of a formal assessment, either ourselves or maybe through some other resources. Thank you.